A Moran number is a number when it is divided by sum of its digits and the result of the division is a prime number. Hello and welcome to Knowledge Circle everyone. In today's video, we will see a Java program where we will input a number from user and we will check whether the number is Moran number or not. So some examples of Moran numbers are given here like 18, 21, 27 and so many. So we are going to uh, have a Java program to check Moran number. So let's open BlueJ. Let's create a class with the name Moran and let's double click on the code window. And let's begin with the very first line import java.util.scanner class Moran. The scope of the class begins. We'll declare a variable named n to take input from user. And here I have declared a static method which will be responsible for checking whether the number passed is prime or not. So for checking the prime we have taken a variable f as 0 number of factors. The loop runs from 1 to the number and uh, we'll check the divisibility using the modulus operator x modulus i is equal to 0 then f plus plus and at the end of the loop what we will do we'll check whether the value of f is 2 or not. So here if f is equal to 2 then it should return true else it should return false. So in this way uh, we make the method that checks whether the number is prime or not. Now let's create another static method with the name SOD which will be responsible to calculate the sum of the digit of the passed argument. So here we have static int SOD int m. We have declared a variable s with initially 0 and here we run the loop while m is not equal to 0. We extract the digit, the unit digit of the number we add it into the variable s and then we divide the number by 10. So in this way what we get? We get the sum of the digit of the passed argument and then we return the sum of the digit which is stored in s. Now we'll create main function and in main function we'll create the object of scanner class so that we can take input from user. After creating the object of scanner class we'll provide the message to the user that enter a number. Okay. So after this message, we will write the statement of dynamic initialization that that is what user input already we have declared the variable n at the beginning of the class. So we'll write here n equal to ob dot next int and after getting the uh, input from user, we have to uh, do what we have to call the method sod so that we can get the sum of digit that we stored in the variable sum. Now after that we will check whether the number is divisible by sum of its digit or not. So we will write here n modulus sum is equal to 0. If the number is divisible by sum of its digit then we will find the quotient. We will divide the number and we will find the quotient. The quotient is stored in the variable q and then we have to check whether this quotient the result of the division is prime or not. So we will call the method is prime and we will pass the value of the q and uh, if this is true, if the value of the q is prime, then we will print that it is a Moran number. Otherwise, it's not a Moran number. Okay. So I'll just copy and paste the, uh, the statement and then I will modify. And this is for the inner if and if outer if it is false, like uh, it is not divisible by some of its digit. So we have to print the same message that it's not a Moran number and uh, then we will close the main function we will close the class then we will go for compilation here there is an error so let's uh, make it uh, remove the static keyword from the main function and then we will recompile the class is compiled let's go for uh, the execution create an object right click void main enter a positive number 21 it's a Moran number let's uh, re-execute let's give any other value 45 it is also a Moran number. Let's re-execute. Let's go with any other value 51. It's not a Moran number. 